Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Mr. Perspective with your daily trading tips. In today's video, we're gonna be dedicating it for the low budget people. I'm gonna be sharing you filters that you can be grinding out the game. Don't be afraid. You can pretty much put all your coins in and pretty much see your coins multiply right in front of you. There are not a lot of winnings, but they are constant. You're gonna be able to do this type of trade throughout the day. Leave it in the comment section. Let me know how much coins you make without, with these filters. And please hit me with the sub. I would love to help you and I continue to help you. Now let's get seen and looking at all these filters. From yesterday's video, I told you some cards that I was investing. As you can see, I am liquid once again. I went from 540, I believe, to 582. Not the greatest of profit. The card did not go uh, extremely up, but it was able to get out in time. Let's see. A2 was the max I was able to get. 8,000 coins was what I took afterwards when some of them did not sell. Now, for tomorrow, I am gonna be investing, but I will be telling you that over there on Discord. Much later, I need to see what kind of drops and what fluctuates and if it's feasible to go one more time in fodder, knowing that tomorrow is marquee matchup. So tomorrow is a lot of supply. So we're gonna, we're gonna watch out with that type of trend. Now let's see what filters I got for you. And this is for the low budget people now. And I'm gonna put it in, in pieces because there's so many filters. Again, I'm gonna be putting every single one of these filters over there on Discord. I just wanna bring it out here and explain to you what to do, all right? Now, these are for the gold comments, again, you don't have to have so much so much coins to do be doing this so don't get intimidated if you have only like a thousand coins right don't don't be intimidated and in the beginning it's a little bit rough with uh, percentages and everything but right now it's a blessing that we have that 80 plus spc that's making fodder go up where people are just buying cards just buying cards now you can do exactly what i'm telling you right now and make your coins now this 500, you see people are buying it at the last minute. This would be considered lazy selling at 500. Uh, if you have more than like 20,000 coins, I would maybe tell you to do that. But I would rather you sell your card right here at 450. Pick this card up 300, 350 max. Um, if you are having a hard time picking up this card at 300, pick it up at 350. As you can see, there's so many of these cards so many so many everybody can do this don't be shy and make your coins make your coins there's so much supply right now so much supply take advantage of that now let's look at a different filter a different filter and kind of an investment because tomorrow is the last day to do this and yeah well i think right now this card i've been looking at it and it's been fluctuating it's been fluctuating now let me show you the gold one first so we get that out of our heads first now this card zapata i saw this card selling for about sixteen thousand coins only for champs eighteen thousand coins only for champs it was absolutely not so this card absolutely doubled your coins if you were able to invest in it. Now, I did not alert anyone. I am going to be from now on looking at SPC cards like this. It's absolutely a crazy, crazy thing. People trying to compete those um, uh, marquee matchups. Now, this card, if you can get it in your club for about 2.9 or max 2.9, I see it as a low, low risk. Tomorrow, you can sell this card and probably sell it at three six three eight even close to four thousand coins every single time a card is coming out of packs this card is just mass supply and as you can see someone out there is going full send on these cards and i saw it earlier selling for about three six so i know the strength of this card and tomorrow being the last day of spcs always people go insane for this card so just a little fyi with this if you want it like an investment type thing and this is less than 24 hours now another way to trade with these and this is pretty much in the pocket where i like to tell you exactly where to pick up and where to sell now this one you can also do like a sniping type thing let's see where it's at you always want to look at minute 59 and know exactly where to sell your card yeah uh, let's see four three four three and this card is probably insta selling right here at four two yep there it is there it is minute 58 so it sells pretty much like in five minutes try to pick this card up no more than 3.6 3.6 3.7 3.8 3.9 3.10 3.11 3.12 3.13 3.14 3.15 3.16 3.17 3.18 3.19 3.20 3.21 3.22 3.23 3.24
3.6 thousand coins making some nice profits again if you're good at sniping this is pretty good for you and as you can see there's a good amount of cards here you can bid on these cards and pretty much list right away now this is another one and this is more for low budget here goes for 1000 there it is 1000 let's see i think it's still selling for 1.2 very good very good let's see 1.3 clear this up or 1.3 yes and now why do i say yes this is above minute 30 whenever it's above minute 30 it still sells just a little tip for that whenever you see here oh you know it's minute 48 46 or 35 yes it still sells yeah you can put it on watch and check it out yourself now for this card try to pick it up like max 900 850 will be the sweet spot for this card but there's so many cards out here just please mass bid on these cards super super good and use all your coins use all your coins don't be afraid right now as supply dries up it's just gonna get more more expensive now last one but not least i'm gonna include the managers managers have been making people so many so many coins and i've been doing it on stream with you guys because a lot of people always come and tell me hey you know what like i don't have a lot of coins what do i do how do i trade managers are one of my favorite ones uh, one of my favorite ones and now let's see um, United States because okay, so yesterday I think I covered the Belgium one this one is selling for about 1,000 nope 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 I'm lying I'm lying let's see nine five yes there it is nine five try to pick this card up um, let's see 1,000 see if it even sells there mm, it's lazy listing there it's lazy listing there and, it, and it's kind of slowing down as you can see it's like minute 30 it's just at that border Try to sell this card at 9.5, pick it up like 7.5, 800 coins max. Pick this card up, or you can even snipe them. So you can see people are putting 7.5, just a sweet spot for this type of card and flipping it all day long. As always, it is misperspective with my daily trades. And for tomorrow, I'm gonna see what fluctuates. I'm gonna see where I can put all my coins right now. I think I'm gonna be trading with like fodder cards or a special card. Yesterday I was picking up Rafinha really, really cheap and selling it right back making about like a thousand three thousand coins per card and let's see let's see this card right now if i was able to do that right now yesterday i covered this card and this card did go to like twenty eight thousand coins earlier let's see where it went yeah look it's even going higher today uh 26 let's see 29 with these cards you need to be really experienced to know exactly where the lazy list price is it just takes a little bit of time to learn but it's nothing out of the ordinary don't get intimidated i always like to teach everyone step by step just so they feel friendly and they can also do this with bigger cards and if they want to trade with other cards as well it seems 29.25 it still sells a little bit slow as you can see it's minute 28 usually you know that below minute 30 i don't like it so i'll say like 29 to 5 is like the sweet spot where it's going to continue to sell and that's through the night this card should continue to go for like two five even thirty thousand coins so i might pick up a couple of these for like 26 26 let's see where the bids are you always want to see where those bids are let's see let's see and mass bid mostly because i have enough coins to be doing this and let me leave my little glitch here I always love doing it uh, 350 this is to clear out because when you search sometimes it leaves you like in like the right here like minute 35 and as you can see it's starting to clear it out it's like a little glitch that EA loves to do I don't know why I think it's just to throw people off now here we go and now you want to clear out the top part and go to your initial price where you started and I put 26 so let's see where it's at. There it is. Oh, love it, love it. Again, I'll try to teach you as much as I know. Um, I love to show you step by step and pretty much spoon feeding you guys prices. So I'm gonna bid on this card, 26,000 coins, why not? And I'm gonna see what price I can get it. I'm gonna see what price I can get it. If I don't win this bid, I'll try on the next one. And just like that, just like that. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you. Have a great, great day. I can't wait to trade with you all over there on Discord. Is Miss Perspective? Peace.